Welcome back to Fair Game. I'm Christine Leahy here with the Guinness World Record holder for most basketballs dunked in a single jump with three, JaVale McGee. Is that a good memory or a bad memory for you? Um, it's a good and bad memory. Okay. Just because I felt like it was rigged. But <gasps> rigged. Yeah. But I had I had some great dunks in there, so people got to see my athleticism, so that was dope. So eventually you get signed with the Warriors. Mm -hmm. You become a starter there. What was that like, that in-between time? For me, it wasn't really stressful, but it was the time to just reflect and think like, okay, so I'm either gonna keep playing basketball or I'm gonna have to figure out what my seven foot self is gonna do <laughs> <laughs> in the real world. Like, I've saved for, uh, enough money to to survive and be fine. Um, that's not the problem, but it was more of a mental anguish of like, what am I gonna do? But my main goal was to play basketball. So I put all my focus into that. I had just came off of an injury, um, the same injury that has been nagging me for at least two years. So I was just trying to get as healthy as possible. And uh, when the opportunity came to sign with the Warriors on a non-guarantee, by the way, I feel like everything happens for a reason, and I'm just I'm just happy that it happened the way it did, just because it it made me even love the championships even more, just because I know it wasn't an easy road for me. Why was it crazy that you didn't get a guaranteed contract? I'm just like, so you telling me I can't get a guaranteed minimum contract on not one NBA team in the league? I was just like, okay, well, I'm gonna go to the Warriors, which is gonna be on TV every day. So people are going to see me and but it's not guaranteed it's not like i went there and steve kerr was like yeah you're going to play I had, he didn't even tell me i was going to play i didn't play for like i think like the first 20 games of the, of the first championship okay. season so it was just me betting on myself and i have i've had a habit of betting on myself my whole life so i knew what i could do and and i did it did you feel almost like the warriors were really appealing for many reasons obviously but like you said you get to be on TV a lot. And there were these portrayals of you that were not true and that being on TV would fix it. That's exactly what I felt. I knew that it would be some playing time at the center position and would be winning. That's the total difference. Like, I probably had some opportunities to go to a losing team or a team that wasn't gonna make the playoffs, but that would have done nothing for my career. LeBron now is your teammate, mm -hmm. and he just said something about how valuable you've been to the team and something about the Defensive Player of the Year award. I'm gonna read to you what he said. He shouldn't be in the conversation. He is the conversation right now. Just look at his numbers per possession, points per 100 possessions, when he's on the floor and when he's not on the floor. How does that feel coming from LeBron? Feels great uh, coming from one of the great, greatest players ever um, and him being my teammate. And I also was thinking in my life, like the past, especially the past three years, I've got to play with some of the greatest players ever. And like when I'm all old and gray, I can <laughs> tell my old stories like, yeah, I played with KD and Steph and now LeBron. It's definitely a blessing just hearing that, and uh, it, all it really does is instill confidence and make me go harder every day. So even if it's not true, if it's one of those let me boost his confidence things, then it's working. But I believe he, he believes it also, and I also believe it, so I'm definitely here for it. Let's talk about your teammates. What's the locker room like? Um, it might be one of the chillest locker rooms I've ever been in. Like, we're low-key boring, to tell the truth. Like, no way. I promise. Nothing ever happens. Like, we never get any arguments. We never fight. We never cry about anything. So you're saying you guys are a chill locker room. You don't get in arguments. Your old team getting in some arguments mm -hmm. lately? Does it surprise you? Um, not as it surprise me. Everybody gets in arguments. It's just different when the media hears it and they're like oh somebody got suspended so it's like great we have a story let's run it all week let's run it all month this is going to get the ratings up you so. know Jamil, it sounds like you don't like the media very much i don't tell the truth let's just say are you, you me or are we talking like in general it's in general okay. certain people but i'm not naming names or anything but okay. it's definitely it's nitpicky like you guys not you but okay. you guys you guys just want stories so it's just like 
if I'm having a great season, it has to be because this person or it has to be because you did this. No, I'm just having a great season. I've been working hard. I worked hard all summer. Like, it's just so many stories that you guys have to make, but you guys have deadlines. This is your job to well, make I, stories. I don't have any deadlines. Well, and, and the way that I look at it is you, you guys just want to, you're, you're people mm -hmm. too. And so you want people to understand who you are besides just the headlines. Exactly. I get it. Okay, so you're big into producing music too. I actually really like the story and now that I'm getting to know you better, it doesn't surprise me at all. You use this name, Pierre, mm -hmm. because you don't want people looking at you like this NBA guy. You have the mm -hmm. secret name. How did that start? Um, so I was at Crustaceans probably like seven years ago. Okay, Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills. I was at the bar and I was waiting for my table. I think like my homeboy is right here. And then it was a girl right here. And like, I don't remember her face, her name, none of that. I just remember she asked me like, hi, how you doing? I was like, how you doing? She was like, what's your name? I was like, Javel. She was like, Javel what? Like me, like, okay, cool. So I'm just not in my business. And I look over, she has her phone like right here and she's Google searching me. So then I was just like, wow, I really am famous. <laughs> <laughs> After that, I was like, if a person doesn't know me, like, if they come up to me like, hi, what's your name? Do you play basketball? I'm automatically just act like I'm not myself. Just because I don't want that person to automatically be like, oh, this is JaVale McGee. I want something from him. Uh, he's a celebrity, blah, 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 blah. So I tell him my name is Pierre. So for a good two, three years, my name was Pierre 24-7.